Hello guys, Belle here. We are going to be taking a look at the Brewmaster Monk in Legion Alpha in its current build. Do you want to make sure I preface this video by letting you know I don't tank uh, and I damn sure don't melee. So I'm giving you this perspective from a pure unbiased perspective. Those of you that mean Brewmasters will already know what I'm talking about. I won't even need to tell you. So let's talk a little bit about Brewmaster and what it's looking like. So your core defensive and offensive offensive abilities are gonna be as follows. For your defensive, you're looking at Iron Skin Brew, Purifying Brew, Gift of the Ox. Your mastery is gonna be the Elusive Brawler. I did appreciate the name there. Uh, your offensive here, you're looking at Keg Smash, Tiger Palm, Blackout Strike, uh, and your Breath of Fire. Your Brewmaster specific talents is gonna be the Elusive Dance. This is passive. Um, the Purifying Brew will also grant 15% dodge for 6 seconds uh, based on the level of Stagger Damage Purified. So, <clears throat> I don't know what it looks like to Brewmaster before, so you guys will have to leave that in your capable hands to be able to decide if the stuff that's going on here is awesome. So, here's your artifact weapon. I wanted to be able to show you this artifact weapon I love. Um, Fuzan, the Wanderer's Companion. This was so... I don't know what the word would be. I don't want to offend anybody because Brewmasters are awesome. Uh, it, this just looks, it's just so just neat, right? Neat's the only word I can describe here in this uh, because that's just so cool. I'm just going to give you a little view here. Yeah, I really, really like this. Um, you have a nice ability uh, with this from your artifact weapon called the Exploding Keg, uh, which I'll show you guys the spell animation for it because it's pretty cool. If you're new to these videos, um, here's your new condensed stat window so don't freak out that's just what that looks like so here's your guys's um here's your guys's breakdown of your uh which oh i think we talked about the stagger a shrug you shrug off attacks delaying 35 percent of physical damage instead taking it over 10 seconds affects magical attacks at half of the effectiveness so here's a look at what we've got going on for your list of spells, we're going to go through all the talents here so that you guys can see what you're working with um, as far as what you have. Uh, your Celestial Fortune for your passive, your Gift of the Ox. When you take damage, you have a chance to summon a Healing Sphere visible only to you. Moving through this Healing Sphere heals you for a lot of heals. Uh, and the lower your current health is, the greater your chance to summon a Healing Sphere. So that's some really, really nice uh, for damage as a... Uh, as a, a brewmaster and then of course you have your your active mitigation here which you have your purifying brew clears 50 percent of damage uh, delayed with stagger and then you have your iron skin brew increases the damage you delay with stagger by an additional 40 percent for 7.5 seconds which does share charges with your pur purifying brew so you need to be aware of that when you're using one um, it's going to take away from the other but good to know so that you can kind of decide what it is you want to do i don't have zen meditation on here i'm going to put it on here this is uh, a five minute cooldown it's channeled reduces all damage taken by 60 percent for eight seconds moving being hit by a melee attack or taking another action will cancel this effect from a tanking standpoint i'm not really sure i mean if you're taking any kind of damage you're basically screwed but i don't really know what you guys would use this for if you are a brewmaster in real life uh, comments on the video and tell me what this specifically affects because i'm interested just for learning purposes to be perfectly honest with you so let's get right into our talents and let's see what we're working with so these first set of talents were not new to Chi Burst guys as monks. 30 second cooldown, small cast time, hurls a torrent of Chi energy up to 40 yards forward. This is going to deal damage as well as heal um, the monk and its enemies in its path. Pretty nice. Casting Chi Burst does not prevent avoiding attacks. Still pretty nice. Your Eye of the Tiger, this one makes me laugh. When I talked about it in the Windwalker video, I, I giggled. Tiger Palm also applies Eye of the Tiger dealing a certain amount of nature damage to the enemy and also healing the monk. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna take the Chi Burst just cause I wanna see the uh, if there's newer animation on it. Your Chi Wave, this is instant, 15 second cooldown. Uh, wave of Chi energy flows through friends and foes, dealing a small amount of nature damage and a small amount of healing. It can bounce up 
to seven times to targets within 25 yards. The healing done on this is so tiny that I'm not sure if you would prefer to use this versus um, your Chi Burst or even your Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Tiger is a passive, so it's one less thing you have to worry about. Your Chi Burst, you get to decide when you use it, and really the cooldown difference here, I don't really know that I would use Chi Wave. Those of you that are Brewmasters, you'd be best suited to answer that. This next set of talents here, guys, we are not new to this either. Your Chi, Torbe Chi Torpedo, which replaces your roll. This does have a longer distance than your roll. Does increase your movement speed for 10 seconds, and it can stack up to two times. Your Tiger's Lust, uh, this is a 30 second cooldown. This increases a friendly target's movement speed by 70 percent for six seconds or removes all roots and snares this is your go-to and pvp hopefully i don't like seeing a lot of brewmasters in pvp unless it's rbgs if you're arenaing as a brewmaster you're a dick so uh, that's my personal opinion does not reflect the views of pwncast but it is bell's personal opinion if you are a tank in an arena you're a dick so with that being said this is a great utility to have um and celerity which is my favorite as a as a monk it's passive reduces the cooldown of rule by five percent or by five seconds and increases its maximum number of charges so uh you get an additional charge and i like to i like to go fast my name is ricky bobby so in order to be able to do that i do like using uh celerity keep in mind i just play around on the monk it's not my main so your next set here this is going to be your light brewing it's a passive Reduces the cooldown of your Iron Skin Brew and Purifying Brew by three seconds and increases their maximum number of charges by one. So in light of that, so you have three for each, your Purifying Brew and your Iron Skin Brew. Your recharge time on both of these is going to be 19 seconds. So that's actually going to reduce it by three seconds. So you're looking at 16 seconds for each. There's a lot of instances, guys, where that three seconds can make a difference. Also gives you another charge, which means you have four that you get to share equally so you can use two and two. In that same set, though, you also have the Black Ox Brew. Chug some Black Ox Brew, which instantly refills your energy and your Iron Skin and Purifying Brew charges. It's only on a one-minute cooldown. So, ugh, jeez. One minute cooldown versus a passive. This is going to be one of the moments where those of you that main this class will be able to tell me which one is better or if it's even situational, which would be my assumption. Your Gift of the Mist, this is passive. Gift of the Ox has an up to 100% increased chance to trigger based on your missing health. This is pretty cool. Um, your Gift of the Ox, this is your passive. We talked about this in the beginning. When you take damage, you have a chance to summon a healing sphere. This is what's visible only to you. We talked about the amount of, of it heals for. Um, and the lower your current health, the greater chance you have of actually getting this sphere. This is really, really good for tanking, I know, even though I'm not a tank. Uh, especially if your health is getting low, your healers are oom, um, you don't have any more oh shit buttons. Uh, using this, you have a 100% increased chance to trigger, which seems pretty legit to me. I think this is pretty cool. Also, being able to control. Uh, once again, passive and, and castable are instant abilities. This is a, it's a control issue with you and what you feel for your gameplay. If you like a lot of your gameplay to be passive because you want to focus on other abilities and not have to worry about casting those or managing those, then that's definitely something that you want to take advantage as far as that's concerned. If you like having the ability of controlling certain things in your environment and you want to focus on less passive abilities, then that can be your time to make that distinction and that choice. Um, I'm actually going to keep it on because I want, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be doing anything that's going to be missing my health, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what we're going to do here. I guess I'm just going to do, I don't really know what to go, so it doesn't really matter. The next set is your Ring of Peace. Um, it's instant ability. It's on a 45 second cooldown. Basically, this forms a ring of peace around um, the target, yourself, whatever. Enemies in that ring um, that use a harmful spell or ability will be knocked out of the ring. Something pretty useful in PvP for RBGs or Battlegrounds. Once again, if you're a brewmaster in an arena, you're a dick. Your Summon Black's Ox, Black Ox Statue. Uh, this is something that you get to choose here. It's an instant 10 second cooldown. Summons the statue at the target location for 15 minutes, pulsing threat to all enemies within 30 yards. You may cast Provoke on the statue to taunt all enemies. Now, I don't ever remember a moment when I've ever brewmastered, so I'm, I could have swore that there was some type of um, aggro statue that I've seen, so this is not new, I think. 
correct me if I'm wrong, those of you that made this, I don't believe that this is new, uh, because I remember being on Timeless Isle with the frogs and having, um, having a monk use this as a means to grab aggro of spawned frogs. So, definitely something powerful. Has its time and its moment and its use. I'm going to go ahead and pop it here just because reasons. Your leg sweep, this is a knockdown, all enemies, um, and it's a five second stun. Obviously, you're going to use this in PvP for a lot of scenarios, but then again, you have your beautiful ring of peace here, so they're giving you a little bit of choice, and they're both on the same cooldown as far as that goes, so that's going to be up to you. This next set here, your healing elixir, when you drink this healing elixir, it heals you for 15% of your maximum health. The healing elixir will also automatically trigger if you drop below 35%. This can be really, really nice for you guys in your little tool belt, especially when you don't if you tunnel vision and you're not so focused on your health, this could be something nice because it'll automatically do it at 35% health. It does have a 30 second recharge, so you definitely want to be um, you want to be aware of that. Your defuse magic, this is also not new. Two minute cooldown reduces magic damage you take by 60% for six seconds and transfers all current active harmful magic effects uh, back to their original caster if possible. Now keep in mind that this is going to be something super useful in boss fights where there's a lot of magic damage going out. Also could be useful in PvP. Um, once again, if you're in an arena as a brewmaster monk, you're a dick. So uh, if you're one of these people that brewmasters in an arena, uh, this is just my opinion. I'm really not insulting you. It's just a funny. So let's not be serious. And I don't want to hear you cry about it. Let's just move on. Uh, I'm Destro in an arena. So you guys can laugh at that all you like. Uh, your Dampen Harm, this is going to be your next set here. It's instant. Two minute cooldown reduces all damage you take by 30% from the next three attacks that your damage you uh, that damage you for 15% or more of your maximum health. This is castable while stunned. Talked about it in the other two videos. I could see moments when you would need to use this for, for now. I'm just going to stick with the Healing Elixir. Now these three, this changes depending upon the spec that you are when it comes to the Monk. So your Rushing Jade Wind. It's a 5.44 second cooldown summons a whirling tornado around you causing a lot of damage over 5.4 seconds. This is also the same for wind walking. In mist weaving, this actually heals. So pretty cool that it gets to swap it up. Um, I used it in, in both videos just to see what the animation looked like. And then you have your invoke Nazu, the black ox. This is three minute cooldown. It's instant, summons the effigy of Nazu the black ox for 45 seconds nazu attacks your primary target and taunts it uh for your wind walker you have zune and then for your uh for your miss weaver you have your uh chizu i think i'm saying that right if i'm not i apologize um that you can use so pretty nice i think we'll i'm gonna pop that on here because i want you guys to be able to see what that looks like um and then you also have your special delivery this is a passive ability drinking iron skin or purifying brew has a 30 percent chance to toss a keg high into the air that lands nearby after three seconds dealing 200k damage to all enemies within eight yards and reducing their movement speed by 50 percent for 15 seconds we talked about the difference between passive and instant uh, or castable abilities and you being able to control when these items are used. So if you're a person that just likes to gamble, maybe you just want to toss the dice around and see when you could get this uh, passive to, to proc, I would imagine it's going to be pretty neat from a brewmaster perspective because, hey, brewmaster, uh, you guys are all about the brews. I'll try this and then we'll see if we can get the special delivery to proc. So uh, we'll do that towards the end of the video. Your last and final set, your Elusive Dance, this is passive. Purifying Brew also grants up to 15% dodge based on the level of stagger damage purified. Your Fortified Mind is also passive. It's a keg, uh, Your Keg Smash and Tiger Palm now also reduce the cooldown of Fortifying Brew. Pretty cool. And your High Tolerance is passive. Stagger delays an additional 5% of uh, incoming damage. I'm just going to keep this uh, as my passive ability here. I'm going to go over here and see what we've got working on our little scenario. I'm going to see if I can go where there isn't a million and one people. Um, there's so many people trying to deal damage on one target dummy. It's annoying. Uh, we'll go over here. Hopefully we don't get annoyed by things. Um, so here's your chi burst. Just so you can see what that is in fact looking like. Uh, your exploding keg. This is your artifact weapon. That was pretty cool. Definitely neat and worth it. 
And let's see. So we've got your summon, your Black Ox statue. Let's get some chi going here. Here's your keg smash. Let's get some more chi. And then here's your breath of fire. That's pretty awesome. I like it. Oh, wow. Okay, let's... Uh, Look at your purifying brew. Apparently I can't do that yet. Um, I don't know why it's doing that, but whatever. There's your iron skin brew. We just took that. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have clicked that button, guys. You guys can totally tell I don't melee. Don't make fun of me. I can see you guys laughing at me. Uh, get that there. And then uh, let's invoke Nazu. Oh, he's so cute. He's just a little tiny guy. Purifying Brew. I don't know why it won't let me. Clears 50% of damage delayed. Oh, I guess because I don't have a stagger up. There's your Keg Smash. Get your Ox. He's working so hard for you guys. Exploding Keg. <laughs> he went over to attack the other thing. Iron Skin Brew again. So you guys can see what that looks like. Um, on there and then yeah pretty cool your zen meditation this is the oh okay i'm pretty sure i recall seeing this a few times so i don't think this is new right that's pretty cool and then here's your effuse which is your heal there's what it looks like to drink and then um let me there was a talent i told you guys i wanted to test let me see where that's at I think I told you we were going to test. Mm, let me get out of combat here, guys. Dang it. Am I out of combat? I'm still in combat. Well, shnikes. That's uh, probably because I have a statue there. Let's pop the statue over here. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll wait a few seconds. The rushing jade wind, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, or we can actually see... Uh, this is not doing what I wanted to do, guys. I apologize, I don't brewmaster so this is going terribly this is not what i intended i'm actually getting a little bit frustrated um because this isn't doing what i wanted to do so jesus i guess it's because i used it recently well that didn't let me do what i wanted to do if you want to see what the rushing jade wind looks like look at the uh miss weaver video or the windwalker video and you'll be able to see that there's your look at brewmaster i apologize i'm not better at brewmaster uh i'm pretty sure you guys are cringing with my rotation but that just is what it is if this is uh if you're sitting here watching this video do me a favor and give the video a like also make sure you comment uh your feedback as far as what you guys think regarding the spells and stuff i don't mean these classes guys so it's really nice to hear your guys' opinion if there's something else in legion you guys need me to look at as always make sure you comment and let me know if this is your first time visiting pwncast youtube channel make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button so we can keep the good times rolling i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here i hope you guys enjoys the video uh enjoy the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe